Using your tablet or phone to control your GoPro is super convenient. You can take photos, film videos, and even change settings. Connecting your phone or tablet to your GoPro is super easy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. And then once you've done that, you're going to be met with this screen here. So you wanna tap on that blue button there. All right, so once you tap on the blue button, you're gonna be met with this screen here where it says select a camera. So my camera is a GoPro Hero 11 Black. So now it says turn the camera on. So I'm just gonna turn the camera on like so. Now down the bottom, once I've turned it on, I press this button here, it says my camera is on. Now what it does is it gives you some quick and easy instructions on how to link up your camera with your uh, mobile device. So basically from the rear screen, we just wanna swipe down. Then we want to swipe across. Then we want to tap on when it says preferences. Now from preferences, we want to choose the second option where it says wireless connections. So we'll tap on wireless connections. Now it has connect device. So we're going to tap on connect device and then we're going to choose GoPro quick app. Okay, and once it's done that, we tap on continue. Good news over here on the iPad, it does say that we've found your GoPro. So we're going to tap on this uh, black oblong at the bottom where it says connect camera. Okay, straight away we've got that little uh, noise, that little indicator from the GoPro saying connection is successful. Now, this is where you get to name your GoPro. You can call it whatever you like. Um, I'm just gonna keep it as the name that I've originally registered it as, as Adventure Tim GoPro. Done. Okay, got the big tick. Now it says your GoPro Hero is ready. Down the bottom, we're gonna tap on where it says let's go. Okay, so once you tap on let's go, it's gonna open up this new screen here. And at the top, we can see it says the name of the GoPro, which in my case is Adventure Tim GoPro. It tells, you the, it tells you the name or the type of the GoPro. It also has an indicator on how much battery you have left and also uh, tells you how much space is left on your SD card. Now from this screen here, you have quite a few different options. If we look down the bottom, there's three icons that we can see. So we're gonna tap on the one on the left, first of all. Now this one here is time-lapse. And the moment I tap that, you also saw how it changed um, the mode here on the camera as well. So what you can do once you're in time-lapse mode is if you press the button which is highlighted red, it's going to start recording in time-lapse, just like that. And then when you're finished doing your time-lapse, you just press the button again and it stopped your time-lapse. If you want to view media, you can just tap the uh, view media option here, like so. This brings up a new screen right now, and this shows all the media that is currently uh, on your camera. So let's get out of that for a moment. We're gonna tap the arrow at the top to go back to our home screen. Where that time-lapse um, icon is at the bottom, if you do tap on that, it'll bring up your list of time-lapse options as they are on the back of the GoPro. So you can choose everything from time warp through to star trails, light painting, vehicle lights, and night lapse as well. If you want to learn more about those great options, uh, click on the links in the description below. I do have other videos that I've made of those GoPro features that you might be interested in checking out. So once you've chosen your, your selection, so in this case we had time lapse, press that and it'll take you back to this home screen. The next option, if we uh, tap the next icon along, is the video option. And this is the same as uh, using video option on your, uh, on your camera. Currently set to standard, but if I tap on that oblong, it gives me all the other options that are available to me. So for example, cinematic. So if you do like one of those options and you wanna make some changes, all you need to do is tap on the pencil like you would on the back of the camera, and you can see all your settings uh, right in front of you. So you can make so many changes. You can make uh, changes to the modes. You can change uh, Pro-Tune settings, and you can even update shortcuts on your GoPro. The next icon is the uh, camera or the photo icon. And from that one here, we can uh, press this red button here and we'll take a photograph, simple as that. Once again, you tap the oblong and it brings up your options for other photo modes. And once again, you can tap, tap on the pencil 
and it will bring up all the uh, different options that are available. Now just above that you see the enable preview button. So if we tap on that one, that is going to give us uh, a view of what the camera is currently seeing. So right now, uh, if I move the camera, as you can see I'm moving the camera, and I'm getting some footage right now on the iPad, which is um, coming directly from the GoPro. And if you want to start recording, you just press on the icon at the bottom, and you heard that sweet little beep. And once you do that though, the preview is not available normally on the, uh, on the settings, which is a little bit annoying. So once again, to check out any uh, photographs or videos, we tap on this icon down the bottom left-hand corner, and that'll take you to your media. Back out of here, we do have some other options as well. We have auto upload and we have live stream, but we're gonna talk about them in a future video. Also over here on the left, we have this power button. So you can tap on that and it gives the option where you can turn off your GoPro. So you just gotta press the button here and your GoPro will shut down. Turning it back on is just as easy. Tap that one. And in a second, you'll see your GoPro has fired up. And it's connected by Bluetooth. The other option over here is your settings uh, cog. So we can tap on that and it gives you your camera preferences. So currently we're in pro mode, but if you wanna put it into uh, easy mode, it's as easy as making that selection. And there's so much more that you can change and adapt here. If we tap these three buttons up here next to the name, of your camera, it actually brings up uh, some details on the screen about your firmware, and uh, you can also edit your camera name here, and if you really wish, you can remove your camera as well. If you are, do need an update, it will tell you here, uh, once you tap on those three dots, that an update is required. If you tap on the top option, it will then, then download the uh, latest uh, firmware update, so you can make sure that your GoPro is firing uh, on all cylinders and uh, with all the uh, optimum features that it requires. Things might look a little bit different to what we had before with the iPad. On my Samsung phone, the screen layout is a little bit different. So now I've paired up my camera like we did earlier on, I can press this top button here to control the GoPro. As you can see, the GoPro's turned on, as is recognized, uh, the mobile device. Now, down the bottom here, we have similar controls to what we have with the iPad. Uh, we have the uh, time-lapse one to the left. We have the, uh, the movie one, the video one, and we have the photo option here as well. And just like before, you can tap on the oblong down the bottom to uh, change your options as you wish. If you want to view media, you tap on the uh, view media blue icon, and it's going to bring up all the footage that you've recorded uh, on your GoPro Hero, which you are viewing through the Quick App. Although it's not perfect, using GoPro's Quick App with your phone or tablet to control your GoPro is a pretty cool option. Having a slightly larger screen to look at details with and change settings really comes in super handy, especially if your eyesight's not as good as it used to be. To learn more about how to get the most out of your GoPro, you want to click on this video over here right now. As usual, thanks for your company and I'll see you in the next video.